What is going on everyone? So some of you watch my channel might already know that I had this amphibious mountain bike kit which I used once last year. First attempt was disastrous. I am actually sinking. Second attempt went a lot better. There was a few niggles with it. Nose dive. Massive nose dive. The angle of the bike was wrong and I nearly went over the handlebars. But we're coming back bigger and better this summer. I have fitted, as you can see on this bike, a 2000 watt Kirby bike kit. My favourite brand of uh, e-bike kit. If you want to convert your mountain bike to electric, check out kirbybike.com. This is now a 52 volt, 2000 watt powered e-bike kit on it, which is going to power the propellers of this amphibious bike kit. So. Without any further ado, I'm just going to get these pontoons blown up. The bike put on top of the pontoons, all set up. It's already at high tide, so we're just going to get moving, no messing about today. And I have no, honestly, I have no idea how good this is going to work, but let's just find out. Done. Right, let's get this thing built. Go. Also, we've got no idea if these components are suitable for putting this amount of power on because before, when I was pedaling this bike, it's obviously just my leg power versus resistance to the water. Whether this plastic propeller drive system can actually handle this amount of power going through it is completely unknown at the moment. Right, so this kit is powered by, when the back wheel turns, it turns this metal wheel here, which is gripped to the tyre, which turns a drivetrain all the way through this cable to this front propeller. Obviously it's hitting at the moment, but look. Basically when you're pedalling, you're getting a small amount of power, which I can probably demonstrate in my hand. Very difficult to turn to be honest and it doesn't go that fast. Now if I turn the electric on I've got the power of the electric motor. Um, it's a bit sketchy because the propeller needs to be dropped into the water but don't do this at home guys I've got my foot next to a 2000 watt propeller in sliders. <laughs> do you think it's going to work? Yeah. Let's get this thing in the water. So we've had a bit of a change of location because the tide was just getting too low too quick. I've had that problem last time and I'm not stupid enough to get stuck in the same situation again. Um, so we're just going to get straight out on the river in um, Paper Mill Lock in Chelmsford now. There is no tide as such, it never goes completely out here so we're just going to drop it straight off onto the side and see how it goes. Uh. Right, just going under pedal, pal. <laughs> uh, there is no brakes. <laughs> the problem. Whoa! All right, try an electric mode. Electric mode activate. Whoa, something's happened. I'm not sure what's going on, but the front end keeps lifting up. I think it gets to a certain speed, and the propeller down there lifts back out of the water. I don't know whether we can cable tie it in place or something. I did pop a wheelie, which was quite alarming. It does actually lift the front end out of the water. Whoa, it's actually quite scary to be fair. I'll try and turn around. 
Wow. I think he's lifting the front end up and then the power's reducing. Well, it works anyway. A um, little bit restricted on the height going for it. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Getting some funny looks. Well, it definitely works, but it's, it doesn't seem to like going fast. And I think it's a lot to do with the movement of the propeller down there. It's unlike a pivoting arm. And at pedaling speed, it just drops down and it works nice. When you try putting 2,000 watts through it, it's a bit hairy, to be honest. Strain a little bit. According to the uh, e-bike speedo, we're doing 20 miles an hour right now, and I don't think that's quite the case. I don't know a lot about propeller design, but I'm presuming there's a certain speed that propellers are designed to be efficient at. And I think what we're discovering is this isn't designed for a 2000 watt e-bike kit. But it does work though, to be honest. It's just when I try giving it any more than about quarter power, it's how fast we can get this thing to go. I don't know whether leaning forwards is going to help. Try to pull my weight over the bars a bit. <laughs> Whoa! It's actually quite terrifying, even though it's not fast. I can't get it to go faster, I don't it's like the propeller don't like it. It could go a lot faster. It's rear end heavy because of the motion battery. Yeah, but it's a bit scary leaning over the front of the bar. Just, whoa. Did you make that? Um, I didn't design the actual kit, but I put it together. It's not something you normally get, and they're not normally electric powered. Yeah, I mean, it's very impressive. It's a, it's a creation. <laughs> whoa, that's so scary. Really scary. I'm trying to quite a new approach getting over the bars. <laughs> there's no reverse and there's no brakes on this. That's only on power level two. How do I stop? Oh, shit. <laughs> right, this propeller goes up and down and I think that's causing some problems. So we're gonna try and cable tie it to the fork, hoping that that makes it a bit more predictable. Except from, I've got no safety devices and my son's having to keep me ashore. You wanna grab some uh, zip ties out of the uh, backpack? onboard maintenance i don't know if i'm gonna to have to step off of it do you reckon if i put it up you can cable tight that side to the fork really tight keeping it down a bit more let's see if that makes it a bit more predictable <laughs> 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 
Whoa, I feel like we're faster now. I think that might have done something, Lou. It's making us pop wheelies. We're popping wheelies now, Lou. <laughs> I think that's fixed the speed problem. We've got wheelie power going on. <laughs> oh, covered in water. Shit. Oh, I'm really wet now. Really wet. Why am I wet? Is the back wheel going under the water where it's wheeling? I'm absolutely soaked. It's a wheelie machine. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Is the back wheel going under? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it's definitely faster, isn't it? <laughs> Mooring, mooring. I need some kind of mooring device. It's good, but I feel like it's not utilising the full power of the 2000 watt kit. I think it needs a bigger propeller. I think like maybe the propeller design is, pro I don't know a lot about propellers, but I think they might be designed to be optimal at a certain speed, and this is probably designed to be optimal for people pedaling, and anything past that, it loses efficiency. I also think, the fact that the propeller's covered in seaweed probably doesn't help. Whoa. Ooh. You can feel how much power it's got, but it just gets to a certain speed. I think they've obviously designed it well for pedaling this kit, but unless I wanted to take this further with propeller redesigns and that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know. It works, though. I'm not sure I've run across the English Channel on it or anything anytime soon, but it definitely, it definitely works. But the front end lifts up and the angle of the propeller changes. It still moves now, look, you can see it moving down there. See it going backwards and forwards. See that? Yeah. I wish I could go faster. This is capable of going faster, but I think it's the propeller that's letting it down. Needs a reverse gear as well. Definitely needs a reverse gear. Rapid time. I mean, it's a watercraft and a mountain bike, so there's no reason why we can't get up that, right? Here we go. Get a bit noisy. Fight against the current. Oh God, he's pushing me sideways. We're going sideways into the wall. Oh shit. Don't want to die down a waterfall on this machine. Oh no, let's go with the bigger one. Come on. Surfing. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Right, we're out of the water now, guys. A um, few things, if you come around here. I think where I was burning through the uh, tyre spinning against that, I think we lost half the tread down there. Look at that. How, how mad's that? So we've been burning rubber on the water. But yeah, I I don't know a lot about watercraft, but I feel like there's some kind of inefficiency on the propeller design, where it's sort of max efficiencies at a, <coughs> excuse me at a certain speed. But I feel like it goes too fast for the propeller to actually handle. So although it maxes out, I'm guessing about seven eight miles an hour, but it could go a lot faster. So do I scrap this and just move on to other projects? Done with it. 
would you like to see another different Propeta design? Do you think that's what it is? If you've got any ideas why it maxed out, even though the motor would go faster, if that makes sense. Um, it just suddenly lost efficiency, even though the motor was spinning faster and faster. So there's definitely an issue there. I think it's Propeta related. But let us know guys, sorry it wasn't as quick as I was hoping it would be, and you might have been hoping it would be. Let us know, do we scrap this project and move on to newer, bigger things, or would you like to see this back on the channel? Maybe a different propeller design and look into what was happening. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video guys. If you're not already subscribed, about 75% of the people watching my videos are not subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button. Helps me make like more content, other bigger, better projects. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the video soon. Take it easy.